Things around us are classified as living and non-living. They are made up of atoms. We thought atoms are further not divisible, but they are classified into electrons, protons and neutrons. As we started bombarding these atoms, we discovered that elementary particles can't be divided anymore. They are so small that we can't see them and light just passes through. In order to see these particles, we need to increase the frequency of the electromagnetic waves. As we increase the frequency, the energy of the wave drastically increases, which changes the property of the elementary particle itself. This is known as the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. We don't know how these elementary particles look, but they exist. This ambiguity led to the discovery of the point particle, in which particles are treated as point masses. They are explained using the x, y, and z axis. Adding gravity to the point particle didn't go well in space science. This problem led to the discovery of the string theory, which suggests that these elementary particles are made of strings. Each string vibrates in a certain way to produce the elementary particles. Graviton is an example of an elementary particle which mediates the force of gravity. Gravity is the weakest force and the graviton is a massless state of a fundamental string. We don't feel their effect as they traverse in additional dimensions. Einstein's general theory of relativity explains that space can expand, contract and bend. Graviton can never be lost in the hidden dimensions. This is proven using the Large Hadron Collider concept, where gravitons are seen for a few fraction of seconds and they suddenly disappear into the micro black hole. The recently published papers suggest that even though these gravitons get into the micro black hole, we can hear the graviton noise which helps us to locate them using the Laser Infrometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. Coming back to string theory, an electron can move easily in a bulk of space. However, in a quantum dot, its movement is confined. To explain the movement of an electron, we need three dimensions. But to explain the movement of a graviton, we need multiple dimensions, which include length, breadth, height, time, and other six spatial dimensions, which are compactified. All these 10 dimensions are needed to study string theory. Scientists are trying to prove this theory mathematically but weren't successful. Even though it's not proven, we have used them in many different ways. It helped us a lot in understanding the black hole paradox. Scientists believe that universe is made up of 11 dimensions and it wouldn't be stable if it was more than that. To conclude, string theory may not be the theory of everything, but it's a better version of the point particle. Until we find a better theory to describe the functioning of the universe, string theory will remain the theory of everything.